I'm Scott Wiseman, a travel enthusiast with a love for climbing mountains. In this video, you will be following me over Amphu Lapsa Pass in Nepal at a height of over 19,000 feet above sea level. Crossing the pass provides a way out of the isolated Hongu Valley and an alternative route for climbers returning from Mera Peak. This is part two of my fall 2022 expedition to Nepal. Please also check out part one, my video on Mera Peak to enjoy the full story. We're descending from high camp on Mera now. I don't think I've ever seen Everest this clear. No haze, no clouds. Once descending Mera Peak, we stopped at Mera La, where you can see Ong Dawa helping Guillaume remove his crampons. Next, we descended to Kongma Dingma, a humble encampment surrounded by broad meadows, where I'd sleep amazingly well on my 11th night. We woke up on day 12 with a plan to head for Seto Pokri, the next outpost. Morning views from Kongma Dingma. Last night's camp. Good morning, Pesang. Morning. <laughs> you look refreshed. Good sleep? Yeah, good sleep. Uh. 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 Here we are drinking tea at Komo Dingma. Sankibo. Yeah. <sighs> Sankibo. Uh. What does it mean? Exactly, exact translation, Sankipo. Funny, funny jokes. Funny guy? Yeah. Funny guys. Yeah, in English, we'd say probably goofball. Pretty good after I think maybe the best night of sleep. <coughs> Can't stop staring at these mountains, they're so beautiful. Beautiful view to hike into. Here is home for night 12. Tomorrow night on Falacha. Base camp early the next morning, climbing over the pass. Waking up on day 13 of the trek, nice and cozy in the sleeping bag, but looking at the tent wall, we're starting to get into the really cold part of the year. We're gonna move up to Amphalopsa base camp today. About 5 a.m. start the next day to go over the pass, over to Chukung. And then believe it or not, in only about two days, I'll be back to Lukla, ready to fly back to Kathmandu. I feel like we're alone in the Himalayas. Good morning. Good morning. most remarkable thing about where we are right now is that there's really no other trekkers. Definitely the most uh, remote area I've been while trekking in the Himalaya. Lots of stepping over boulders today. Quite a bit of elevation gain, but man, it's these kinds of views that make it so worthwhile. But there we are, we made it to Amplopsa Base Camp.
Amphilopsa Pass receives far viewer visitors due to its remoteness and its technical challenge. It can be treacherous in bad snow conditions. On the Hongu Valley side, you climb up from 16,400 feet from Panch Pokri, or the five sacred lakes, and ascend up a complex slope of rock, ice, and snow. The descent on the Imja Valley side involves a 100 foot rappel from the top, followed by a scramble down a steep, loose slope. Any fall here would send you tumbling quite a distance. Five, five thirty. We're going to be going up Amphalopsa Pass, maybe two to three hours to the top. Early dawn light starting to peek out. Okay, part way up the pass. We have a cold, somewhat tired team today. Coming up to the side of the glacier now, making pretty good progress. Here's just a sample of what we're going up. Some fixed cable and rope. Going up there. Still gotta get up here. Crazy. We had a ways to go, but here we are. We made it to the summit. Woo! Glorious morning. Summit. Oh, that was spectacular. We made it to the top of Amphalopsa Pass. Oh, nothing about the down part yet. Just enjoying the view. There's uh, Everest and Lhotse. I think you could even see Island Peak. Oh, amazing. Keep doing my best here. Living the best life I can. up by the sun, beautiful prayer flags, all right, got to think about going down, well, this is the way down. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be very little footage of this part, because Propelling is where most accidents happen. <laughs> we gotta really, really focus. <laughs> but this is what we came down. Bags were lowered by a separate rope. <laughs> and uh, I think the worst of it's done. We have another little rappel coming up. Uh, just came down another rappel. Glad that I have the confidence here. Almond Bomb really helped with that last year. There's the rappel behind me. I think that might be close to the last of it. A little, a little sketchy in places. So we came down just uh, to the right of that yellow rock. Straight down this way. 
we just completed Amphalapsa Pass. It was a pretty awesome experience, great views, challenging portions with the repels. Probably earns its place in a in the list of things to do once but not again. But uh, good memories for sure. <laughs> After crossing the pass, our team stayed together through much of the Imja Valley. But once we passed Amphalapsa's show, Pasong and I bid farewell to Guillaume, Ongdawa, and Sona, who continued their expedition to Island Peak. Pasong and I continued in the direction of Chikung. Now we're in the beautiful Imja Valley. And uh, this here last year, but on the other side of Imja Lake, Imja Lake, it's a large glacial inlet. All right, Godspeed to everybody. Enjoy Island Peak. We go that way, you go that way. Be safe. Descending upon Chukung, our first taste of civilization in a few days. Great views of Chalatse and Tabotse. Finally, it was time to reward ourselves with celebratory beers after a successful expedition. I continued with Pisong Dawa to the popular Everest trekking trails of the Kumbu Valley all the way to Lukla. The journey is all about going home now. After more amazing rest in Chukung, we departed for Namche Bazaar. Just walked south of Pengbuche. Probably been gone about three, four hours already. Down there is the bridge over to Amada Blanc Base Camp that I crossed one year ago. All right, almost back to Namche. It's been a night in Namche, leaving the Yak Hotel right now. Another seven hours down to Lukla. And that's basically the end of the trek. Tomorrow flying out. Namche is the last major outpost for gathering gear. Lots of tourist shops. Plenty of Yak traffic. Coffee shops. There's even art galleries. My favorite things here are the water spun prayer wheels. One of my favorite spots on the whole trek, the famous Hillary Bridge. Really long way down.
bittersweet ending to this adventure has arrived when I would have to say goodbye to Pasong and many of my Sherpa friends. But another part of me was ready to go home with the chance to retell this story. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for new videos from past and upcoming adventures. See you again soon and namaste.